What's up guys, it's Skill Up here with another Division video. I hope you're enjoying patch 1.2, I certainly am. I uh, wanted to do a very quick video on something very important, which is the undocumented changes that have gone into the game. Changes that have gone into effect, but didn't make it into the patch notes. Now I have to give full credit where it is due here. This is not a list that I have developed myself with the exception of one item on it. This is actually a list on uh, Reddit by a guy called Wow Altaholic, and he has actually collected a number of different threads from a number of different people. So I'm going to link that thread below and I really encourage you guys to uh, visit that thread, give it an upvote and just say thanks to um, Wow Altaholic for compiling all of this because it's really valuable. I'm doing this video because uh, not everyone reads Reddit and uh, you know, even if you do, these changes might not fully make sense to you. So I just want to make them nice and clear. If you like this video and you find it useful, then don't forget to drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button now for the best source of division coverage you will find anywhere on the intertubes. So guys, very first up, we have uh, the vendor in the base of operations actually sells 165 purple superior items. Now, this is up from 131 level items back in the day. Now, these items are a touch pricey, but you know, it's good to know that they're there. This is probably going to be most useful for characters that are just starting out uh, because, you know, there's a lot of loot flying around these days. So you're going to be probably less likely to buy these items. Uh, but, you know, look, there it is. Uh, th that's a change. And if it's good, if it's useful to you, fantastic. Next up, we have a reduction in price for crafting weapon and gear mods. Weapon mods now cost four weapon parts and six tools and crafting a gear mod will set you back for fabric and six electronics. So that's a nice welcome change. A really nice addition to the DZ03 vendor is a uh, 204 level weapons that only cost about 96,000 or 100 or 77,000, uh, you know, Dark Zone credits. Now, they do require rank 80, so that's not a small amount of rank, obviously. But, you know, we're talking 204 weapons here, and that's pretty decent. And, you know, we should all be able to get our hands on 100k Dark Zone credits. So, it's actually really, really nice. Good job, Massive. A small but very nice change is that all resupply crates in safe houses now give you med kits. Given that you're going to be spending a lot more time in those safe houses for the search and destroy missions, this is actually really good as well. And the very last thing is probably the most important, and that is that um, I'm fairly sure that Capable has been uh, nerfed. So just last week, I did a, a video sort of talking about Capable and how it's a really good substitute for Balanced because it actually gives you really perfect, not like this non-movable reticle. Um, and I had assumed that it actually wouldn't uh, be changed in patch because it looked like it was sort of working as intended and that you needed to use an ability to get it proccing and you needed a very specific build to maintain 100% uptime on that. So there it is. I just thought that, that would be the case. But it seems as though there have been some minor changes made to it. If you look at the footage here of me firing away pre-patch, you can see that my reticle is getting very, very little movement. But now if we have a look at the same effect here in the base of operations, and you'll see me, um, I'm just in cover, I'm about to pop an ability, and now I'm going to start firing away. And you see that my reticle is actually blooming a fair amount. I mean, it's not huge, but it's definitely more than it was before. You can probably hear my clicking in the background, but um, yeah, I mean, it's it seems like the um, reticle spread is no longer as strong as it once was. I do get a little bit more spread now. It doesn't make it that much harder to hit, but it's just a few degrees difference and it's definitely going to be enough to miss one or two shots. So that is something to keep in mind. I don't think this changes the viability of a capable M1A. And I mean, you can see it yourself, you know, just like the, the speed at which I'm able to fire is just huge. You know what I mean? And I'm hitting well and truly more shots than I'm missing even at this maximum rate of fire. So it's still very worthwhile, but it's not quite as good as it was. So just keep that in mind. If you see your reticle playing up a little bit, you'll know why that's the case. So guys, that's it. That's the whole list of undocumented changes, or at least the major ones that are most relevant to you. If you've noticed anything else, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I've had quite a few people messaging me different things. Yes, I know about all the bugs, by the way. I've chosen not to speak about those. I know there are tons of bugs, um, but it wouldn't be a patch update without them. And that goes for any game, to be honest with you, not just a massive game. Uh, yeah, so hopefully they'll get those fixed up sooner rather than later. Um, I'm really enjoying the patch. I'm looking to get stuck more into the uh, high value targets now and I just want to grind the dark zone for days but uh, you know it's all about just having the time to do it so uh, wish me luck on that uh, take care yourselves and I'll see you in the dark zone thanks guys bye bye